Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this video, we're going to continue looking at our blogs. And in particular, we are going to look at the blog posts because in the last video, we looked at basically the blog homepage, the categories, how to put in different collections of posts and categories and things like that. So again, we're going to go right into our posts now. So we will click over here on blog. And you can see on this page here, let me see, we went into the blog settings last time. And we got all this set up in our categories and our tags and our authors and all that we got set up last time. So we don't have to go into there again. We can view the blog here. If we click on customize, it's going to take us right into a blog post, or in this case here, the blog homepage is where we ended up right there. So we can bounce back out of that. So either way, we can now uh, we can create a new blog post or we can just go off of one of the two example blog posts that they have in here for you. You see both of these are currently set to public. If there were any in our draft folder, they would be right there. But again, we got all of them that we're showing right here. So let's go in and click on the gear. And again, you can see there, you can clone a post that you have existing, or you could take the link and go see the post as well. And so over here at the top, we got our visibility. We can set this to public or draft. We can put in an author at that point. We can put in any one of the categories we have selected, or we can put in a tag, or in this case here, we could click on the plus sign and we could add in a new category right here on the fly inside of a post. And then we can come down to the bottom here. And as always, we can set what our style guide is for this particular blog post. And then we can also pick out our template page for this blog post as well. And again, it's showing us different ones here, but the only one, this here, now that's your home page. So here's the post itself, blog post template page. So here is the singular template that we have for it at this time. And so in this case here, let's just choose that one, even though I'm pretty sure it's chosen by default because it is the only one we have and we only have, and therefore will go off of what the default one is. But then we can come in here and we can set a featured image. So we'll click on here and let's just say this is our featured image for this particular blog post. And then we can do our SEO and metadata again down here, put in our SEO page title, which will, among other things, it will show up here in the tab on the page. You can put in your description, you got your path here, and then you have your different URLs and paths and redirects and things down here at the bottom. Uh, we can talk about the redirects and stuff a different different time. But now you got all this here. Let's just say we're going to save this and close it. Then we want to go in and you see the thumbnail goes here. Uh, we want to go in and we want to edit that. So we can either come back over here and click on edit the post and go into it or we could click on customize. But let's go in it this way over here by clicking on the gear. We're going to come in and we're going to uh, we're going to say here edit post body content. Now you can see all along as we've been in here, we got over here on the left hand side, we got our blog home, our blog category as we've seen before, we got the two existing blog posts we have. We can click on the gear to, I'm sorry, the plus sign here to create a new post or we can click on one of these gears and take us in to change out the information in here. And I guess I didn't mention it, we got a title for the blog post there, and then we have a summary as well. And the summary will show up in a case like, let's go to our blog homepage here. I do believe one of the elements we can put in here right here is a summary element. So that would be our post summary right there if you wanted to put it into a particular post, you can put it there. But now if we want to go in and actually edit the, the lesson itself, there's very little that you can really edit in here because most all of it comes from the template. So let's open this up here. Yeah, we'll just click on OK. Whatever I put in there, we didn't need to save. Because now we get in here and we see up here at the top, we got a header, which is a universal header up here at the top. We got a um, navigation over here on the right, an image on the left. This here is a featured image we just put in. We got some breadcrumbs right there. We got this sidebar that we saw earlier that we were putting in our category collection into the sidebar. Got a footer. But the only place that you can change out any, t any content 
for this particular lesson. Now, this would be per lesson here. So you got your template for all of your lessons so that all of your lessons look the same consistently from one to the next. And then you can come in here and you can add in some content. So we could say we want a full page here. Uh, let's just say we want a one column row and then we're just gonna put in a headline and then we're gonna put in a paragraph and we're gonna put in some images. So you can just basically start building out your post inside of here to look however you want while at the same time maintaining all the rest of the characteristics of everything around it. But now let's say we didn't want this. In fact, let's just save this because we'll save this as our, our blog post here. But now let's say we want to change a few things. Well, we can come up here and we can just click on the page and we can say we want to edit the template right there. Or we can come over here to the templates over here on the right. And this here is our blog post default template. Both of them should take us exactly to the same place. In fact, let me see. Maybe it's even this one here because we have, remember we changed everything to hero theme. So technically this is the one we should be working in right here is the hero theme blog post template page. And again, you come in here, you see we have our universal header at the top. So of course you can change the universal header. You can add or remove this, uh, the breadcrumbs right there. I think on a blog post, the breadcrumbs are probably a good thing. Um, the only question I would have on it, and in fact, we can find this out real fast, is let's go in and let's take a look at this page itself. Let's see if we can preview it. Question I was going to have is, does it bring you back to the um, blog homepage, Success Paths? Yes, it does. Okay, so good. It does bring you back on the, on the the back to the home page of the blog. It does not necessarily bring you back to your site home page. So up here in the upper right-hand corner, you see I have a little navigation up here. I actually built this navigation for the courses that you'll see later in the training. So I built this for the courses and this home button right here, I set up that that would bring us back to the customer center page. So in your case here, with your blog content, you may want to make a home button for that that brings somebody back to the main site page for your for the entirety of your workspace. And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, I mean this page that you would have right here. So this would be your site home page. So you may want to put that into the header of all of your blog posts to be able to bring people back there. So always remember, you can use this navigation to move people around wherever you would like. And of course, in the navigation, you can put in links to funnels and anything else you would like, links to your courses, links to the uh, customer center so people can log into a course and all that kind of stuff as well. So where were we here? We were looking at that lesson template. So let's go back in here. Let's go to our templates. Let's go to our hero theme blog post template. And so again, you can come in here and you can mess around with this stuff any way you want. You don't have to have a sidebar here. You can just make it a single column row. You can make it a three column row. You can make anything you want. Um, you could put a video element in here, but again, that video element will be the same for every single one of the uh, of the posts that you make. So anything outside of this dynamically replaced area right here will be exactly the same for every single lesson that you make. And so again, same thing down here with the footer. So if you want every single one of your blog posts to look exactly the same, then I would definitely use a template like this. You can use the existing template that you are given along with your theme, the one that we're looking at here. Or of course, what you could do is you could bounce out of here and we could go to our pages and we could go to our themes and we could say blog right here so we can find it. And then if you don't want to use the template as it comes, it's not that one, it's a post template right here. If you don't want us to, to use it, uh, use the existing template here, then I would definitely say let us clone this page and we will proceed with our cloning. It always kicks us back to the standalone pages. And so here's the page right there. And so what I want to do now is edit that name. And we'll come in here and we're going to call this our... Um, success path 
um, blog, post, template. And I don't need the word page on the end there. And of course, again, you can put in your description. You can put in all of your SEO metadata in here, your sharing image so you can see it on Facebook, your URLs, and then of course, pick a, um, a style guide if you would like as well. And we can update that page. And then let me see here. Was there also the opportunity to put in an image there? Was that the sharing image? Let's see here. I'm looking to see what kind of image would go right in there. I don't think that's what it is. Actually, that's actually now I, now I recall this actually isn't the isn't an image. It should be showing us exactly what the page is looking like is what that image is right there. So I'm going to stop this video right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot one more video showing some ways that we can customize this page so that you basically can make it look like anything you would like. So that's it for now. If you got any questions, just let me know.